want to go back and talk some more about the Super Bowl. How'd you catch any of those commercials last night? The advertisers sure hope you did. They cost between six and seven million dollars, and that was for a 30 second spot. Derek Rucker, a professor at Northwestern University, watches them closely along with marketing students there. Derek, it's good to see you again. Good morning. Yeah, good to see you again. Good All to right. be back. Yeah, good to have you. So let's get to the winners. Uh, the most effective ads, you say Google takes the cake, and uh, we'll check out one and talk on the back end. Great. Wait, I can erase my exes? I don't even remember this guy. Giannis, what about that dunk in the third quarter? What dunk? Ow! Right? Uh, you got Amy Schumer right there. You saw Giannis, Doja Cat. What was so good about this one, Derek? I think this is a good example of something where the brand is focal and centered to what is going on. And that's what people like to see is that it's not just an ad to entertain, but an ad that puts the brand front and center. And this ad did both of those things. Yeah. Uh, and, and we saw a lot of celebrities there that seemed to be the theme this year. Uh, same deal with T-Mobile and John Travolta. Internet, what a pain in the hey, neighbor. Try T-Mobile. It sets up so fast. It's like Wi-Fi that runs on 5G. Home internet from T-Mobile? Wait till you see. All right, Derek, what'd you like? So this is a great one where it's entertaining. This one took a classic rip off of Grease and John Travolta. But again, it tells you about the product. So we're getting both the entertainment and we're learning what T-Mobile has, which is 5G. It's a singular device. So they get across their point while entertaining. All right, so rounding out the good, uh, Doritos in Kia, did they do the same thing with this ad? Yeah, this is the Doritos one. And the Doritos one really focuses on the triangle, but more importantly, they bring attention. Doritos has the advantage of being well-known, so it's really just building a story around it. And this one had the highlight of ending with Elton John. All right, so those were the good. I want to get to the, some of the ones that you say missed the mark. Uh, M&M's yeah. with Maya Rudolph. What happened? You know, so if, if you were following as an individual, you knew there was this controversy around M&M's and getting rid of the playful characters on it. Yeah. And this was meant to be the big resolution. And so the problem was twofold. If you weren't following the story, you were caught off guard. What is even going on here? If you were following the story, this wasn't really a resolution. And so, you know, it's a really questionable spot to spend so much money on. And then I got to, this breaks my heart. I uh, got to ask about Serena Williams uh, and the Remy Martin commercial. What happened here? So I don't think this is about Serena. So I think Serena is great. <laughs> I think the problem is if you're Remy Martin, this doesn't look like it's your ad. This could be an ad for so many other great things. Could be for Serena and so on. But we don't walk away saying, oh, wow, I understand Remy Martin. I want to buy it. So we call it here at Kellogg a linkage. You didn't make a sell for the product. It's a case of the celebrity outpowering the brand. Yeah, you make a really good point on that. Derek Rucker, professor from Northwestern University. Derek, it's good to see you as always. Let's do it again next year. Sounds great. I'm happy to come back. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Take care. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.